Welcome back, everyone. We got a perfect recipe for the fall season. Spicy spaghetti squash with black beans. Mari Sota from Whole Foods joins Hello. us. Always great to have you here. Yeah, Thank thanks you. Thanks for coming in. Always great to be here. <laughs> so today we're going to start with the veggies um, that we are going to saute um, in just a little bit of olive oil um, that we've already preheated. Uh, and then the spaghetti squash we've already pre-roasted uh -huh. um, and we have set aside and we'll incorporate that here at the end. So how let's long talk about this how going. you did that. Yeah, how long do you roast that? Okay, so for this, all I do is put a little bit of olive oil on mm -hmm. the inside of the squash um, and then put it upside down or with the inside on the um, actual pan. Yeah, so it'll be flipped the other way mm -hmm. in the pan. Yeah, and then you have the olive oil all in the inside and mm -hmm. on the outside. Um, just a little bit of water in the pan and then uh, let that roast for about 35 to 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and then you get a nice caramelization around the edge. It does look nice. And then we'll, I'll show you how to. Really until oh, yeah. um, it's pretty soft and tender with a fork. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Okay. I've done spaghetti squash a couple times. I don't think it's ever looked quite as nice <laughs> as this uh, with those roasted edges. It does look but very pretty. I think pretty. olive oil is the key. There. Yes. Hey, can I, we I'm try butter on it? You know oh, me and my or, butter. Or okay. Butter, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're roasting the veggies. <laughs> or, or so we're, we're sauteing, uh, it's just half of a bell pepper, a red bell pepper, you can use any color you want. Um, and then we're doing a half, or half of a yellow, or red onion, sorry, and the whole jalapeno that we've chopped up in there. Um, the last thing, or one of the last things that we're gonna add to this mixture is gonna be just a little bit of chili powder, mm. okay. uh, about a teaspoon. And that really brings out some really good flavors. Yeah. And then at the end, we're gonna throw in about half a cup of corn. Um, and you can use the frozen corn or drained canned corn, um, or even fresh corn right off the cob. Okay. And then the last thing, of course, is the black bean. So we're kind of making like a black bean and corn little like a salsa Santa Fe, yeah, here exactly. That we're gonna be putting in there with exactly. the spaghetti squash. Now, all, all of this looks, except for the choppy, like it's it, <laughs> even even that uh, is simple and quick steps. I'm seeing here is the longest thing, the squash itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Just getting and that roasted. Yeah, and that's gonna take the longest mm -hmm. of anything. And then right up, as soon as it's ready. Uh, you can actually just saute this really quickly and then add it into your squash. So we're going to move on to the squash over here. Switch sides with you. <laughs> and you'll just take a fork and pull out all of the flesh in yeah, here. Yeah, this is the fun part. Yeah, and this is where you can get people involved in it too. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that it actually looks like spaghetti. Here, Mari, the camera's it right here. Easy. Just so our viewers can see mm -hmm. the other way. There you go. You see that? Wow. Yeah. Just comes so right we'll, out. Yeah. After you roast it like oh, that. We'll just oh. put that into a bowl mm -hmm. on the side. And you can get the last of it with this. And what's cool about this is everything's 100% edible. So you can use the outside of the squash still oh, wow. as yeah. kind of your dish to uh -huh. serve it in. Very Isn't that good. pretty? Yeah, I love that. And you know what I've done too is roast the seeds, just like um, yes, pumpkin, like pumpkin seeds. seeds. They taste very similar. And what you can do is actually season those too, yep. and you can have different flavors of, of the seeds too. Mm -hmm. So you use the whole thing. I love this time of year when we're seeing more of the squashes mm -hmm. and the pumpkins yeah. and everything like that and it's getting my favorite ideas too. on how to incorporate them. So into we'll meals. get some of the flesh out of there. And I like what you were saying earlier about doing cutting it the other way also. And getting longer strips. Oh, yeah. I'm so try that I'm not sure. I haven't done this yet. We cut this um, horizontally, or you did, but I read that if you cut it vertically, so you almost have two bowls. Oh, that's and you really cook cool. It that way, yeah, like a bread bowl come almost. Out with longer spaghetti strings. I don't know. So here it's we something are. Something to try. Yeah, that's. I'm definitely gonna try that. So with this, we're just gonna throw it into the pan for oh. a second. Oh. And it'll really pick up all those flavors that yeah. you have. And you can actually turn off your pan at that point and just toss everything together. That is so pretty. I mean, mm -hmm. the color of the squash and the beans and the bell peppers with the jalapeno, yeah. it, it looks like fall. It does. Yeah. Great fall dish. And it smells like Texas. And then the last thing I like can that. throw in. Looks like it. fall, smells like <laughs> Texas, right? <laughs> That's what we're doing here on the morning show this month. <laughs> That's our thing. Yeah. And then with this, we're gonna throw it right back into oh, yeah. like the you said. squash. Serve it there. 
Talk about presentation. Kidding. Gorgeous. <laughs> and then I set aside a few leaves of whole or whole leaves of cilantro, mm -hmm. just as a nice garnish on there. That but looks great. The colors are awesome. And then this last part. And this is really a dish that can appeal to most people, I would say. You know, even if your kids are a little squeamish with the veggies. Mm -hmm. um, spaghetti squash doesn't have too much flavor. Like I said, it's kind of picking up the other it flavors. It absorbs so. everything else, yeah. And cool. what's good about this is you can actually use it in place of spaghetti as well. Right. Yeah, and if you wanted version. to incorporate any greens, you can, at the last second, uh, throw in some kale or something, mm -hmm. uh, spinach, Perfect. and add that into there. Right. Well, that is beautiful. There you have it, your uh, spicy spaghetti squash with black yes. beans. Marisoto from Whole Foods. Beautiful. Thanks so much. Thank